What's up love? So this is going to be a beauty on a budget makeup tutorial. The first thing that I'm using is not that budget friendly, but it is. It's the Benefits Pore Professional Primer. It helps minimize your pores. pores and I actually love this stuff. Like I wear it daily. If I have to buy anything that is more than a budget price, then I'm definitely buying that. So the first thing that I put on my eyelids was my Mica Beauty Eyeshadow Primer, which I absolutely love. Um, sometimes I wear it alone, but I, decided, but I decided to do it up big this time and use my NYX Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, which is just a basic white eyeshadow base. This will help your eyeshadow pop. So I got here in the mail um, a new makeup brush set, and I love makeup brushes. And I hope I'm saying this correctly, but it's called Cicero, I think. Don't get me wrong, but they have some really great brushes. I really, really like them a lot. I love makeup brushes. So I'm gonna take that eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be using the Brick Beauty by LA Colors. And this is their 12 eye eyeshadow palette. And this one is the Neon Palette. $5.99 on iKate House. I will put the information for the products that I use below, but this Brick Beauty, or Beauty Brick rather, eyeshadow palette is phenomenal. Like, it's amazing. The color payoff is really pretty. And so the first thing I used was like a really light pink, and now I'm gonna use like that kind of like medium kind of kind of neonish orange it's not so neon but it's a really pretty color um, it doesn't have any kind of chalky payoff or anything I really do like LA colors and excuse me LA colors LA girl if I said LA colors I really meant LA girl so yeah I really do like the LA girls makeup so back into this eyeshadow kit I really I'm um, eyeshadow kit um makeup brush kit really is a great makeup brush kit I think it was like $79 you get 12 of them and one of the things that I'm using here is my L'Oreal Press Powder. This is a facial powder in the color Cocoa. I love it because it's a great transition color. Of course, it is pressed powder for your face, but it's makeup, and you can use them all the same because eventually you will put this pressed powder on your eyes, so why not use it as an eyeshadow? So I went ahead and put that in. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk brush here, which I really like, and now I'm going to be going into the LA Colors Beauty Brick in the Nudes palette. This palette reminds me so much of the Naked palette. I think it's like Naked 3, but it reminds me so much of that, but for way, way cheaper. It's $5.99, like I said, on iKate House, and I love it. So, of course, the eyeshadow look is coming along somewhat. I like to use both inexpensive and expensive makeup. It all depends, really, on what I like. I'm not, like, a very picky person to where I'm going to just, like, only use expensive makeup. I like cheap makeup, too, because it doesn't matter sometimes the brand. It depends on your hand, like, how you can distribute and apply that makeup so never think that you have to always purchase something expensive to make it really work I'm cheap I'm super duper cheap I'm like a cheap ass cheap so I love to be really frugal with my money and you know I love all type of makeup so I went ahead and reapplied that eyeshadow because of course after all my sweep in motion I did kind of like dust over the browns and things like that so of course I had to like pump it back up with my eyeshadow in that same color but I love the, um, the eyeshadow palettes. For $5.99, you really cannot beat that. So one of my new favorites, which is my eyeliner, it's my gel eyeliner by Micah Beauty, which I'm using right now. I love this stuff. It's like a gel eyeliner, and it's like the perfect consistency. I actually got it in my monthly subscription from BoxyCharm for the month of August, and I'll be doing a video on that really soon, but it glides on like super easy, like, I love it. I'm really not sure of the price. I think it was like $26. Normally, I would not pay $26 for eyeliner, but because it came with my subscription box, I lucked out. Normally, I would not pay that, like I said. I'm just not going to pay that much for an eyeliner. So onto my face, I decided to use my LA Girls Pro BB Cream, and I really like this stuff. I use the color Medium Deep, which is a great color. Um, it gives me a nice coverage, but I like to use it along with my foundation, which this time around, I'm mixing my Black Ups Cosmetic along with my LA Colors Foundation because the Black Ups Cosmetic is a nice shade, but sometimes I like to be a little tint of darker to make it look like I got a tan going on. And I'm just going to buff that in with my Sedona lace brush which is the flat buffer brush now I do love their brushes to bet to death these are my favorite brushes in the whole wide world so I swear by them but to give my skin a more seamless flawless look I'm going to be using my beauty blender sponge and this one here you can pick up Ulta at Ulta or you can also pick it up at Walmart now 
and I believe it's $5.99 and I can't really remember the name of it but I'll post it below. Now to try out this LA Girls um, Pro Concealer, this is in the color yellow, this is the yellow corrector. I also have the orange which I'll be doing soon for you guys but I do like the yellow corrector. I'm just going to apply that over my foundation just to get out some of those dark circles and over top of that I'm now applying my Mary Kay. Um, Time Wise Foundation, which is in color beige six, beige four, excuse me, and this is a matte foundation. I only use it for contouring because it's really too light for my skin, but I love it because it's full coverage and it lasts the entire day. Now to chisel those cheeks, I'm going to be using my Black Ups Contour Stick, and I love this contour. I usually use like my Fashion Fair, but I decided to use something different. You don't have to use Black Ups. You can use any dark foundation. I like a cream because it just blends really well, especially with a Beauty Blender sponge. Now on my nose, I am using my um, Fashion Fair foundation in the color espresso. I just like it a lot better than the black ups because it's a more thicker consistency. Even though it's not a contour makeup, it can be because all you really need to do is just go a few shades darker. So I went ahead and contoured my nose, trying to give myself like that Michael Jackson look. Well, no, not really, but you know. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it in with my Beauty Blender sponge. And I'm also using that same Mary Kay foundation, which is in beige six. Ladies, I swear by the Mary Kay, I love it. Like, I've never been like a huge Mary Kay fan, but right about now, I love it. To set my powder, I'm using one of my non-favorites is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I have not got around to buying the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup, but sooner or later, I will get ahead of myself and do that. I just really don't like to buy too much makeup, even though I went to um, Sephora and purchased some yesterday, but it was on half price. So now for my $4.99, Mineral Pressed Powder by Nika K, which you can get from IK House. I love this stuff. It really is a great pressed powder, and for $4.99, you cannot beat that. I love to uh, contour my face with a fan brush, especially if it's like a good fluffy fan brush. So I went ahead and used my e.l.f. Warm Tan Bronzer, which is only a dollar, and I used this fan brush from Sis Cereal. I hope I'm saying it correctly. And I love this fan brush because it reminds me a lot of my Sedona Lace one, which is also jumbo. I like to use the certain size fan brushes for contouring because it gives you like that great chiseled, angled look. And now onto my highlighted areas. I am using my normal e.l.f. blush, which is kind of like a very um, bronzy, kind of shimmery, which is the baked blush in Pinktastic. And I'm going to go ahead and line my, lie, my, line my eyes with my NYX um, eyeliner in white. And this is just to brighten my eyelids and make them appear a lot brighter and whiter than they normally are. And some Maybelline Falsies Mascara. And now onto my lips, I'm applying my Georgiana Lip Liner in Rose Crush, which is a beautiful soft petal pink really easy retractable pencil so you don't have to worry about sharpening it you just twist it and you can go and i love this color now to the new la girl matte velvet lipsticks this one is hush they sent me some lipsticks to try out and i like this one a lot there are 26 colors in the collection so i was lucky to get a few of them now for my new unit, this is by Lily Beauty Hair, which is an Ally Express store. And this is their Kinky Curly. I have three 16 inch bundles in and a 14 inch closure. I'm gonna use my contour palette or my camouflage conceal palette from Coastal Sense and just make my hair look a little bit more realistic. I really do like the hair. I bleached it, I worked it, I did several different color bleaches and developers and toners. But I do have a video that I did the whole entire walkthrough so I will be posting that up sometime this week. But the hair texture is really great. It held up, it's super soft still, and like I said, it's kinky curly. I really never thought that I would rock kinky curly hair because it is kind of wild, but I actually do like it a lot. Now unfortunately on camera, it doesn't show up as it does in person, the colors, because there are like certain lighter colors just for dimension, but it really came out really nice. Now just to make my part a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and use my Topic Filler Fibers for my hair, which gives me like the perfect thickness to my hairline and also blends in perfectly with the actual wig color. But yes, you guys, take your toothbrush, um, not the one you're brushing your teeth with, 
bust to one you use for your edges and just smooth down those edges. Pop on some jewelry. This is from Beads.us, which I did a haul on. It's actually $4. And I am ready to go out the door. A summery look with some summer hair color. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back soon. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.